Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel. My name is Velele Nkosi. In this video, I'm answering a previous question paper of Life Sciences Grade 12. The paper was written in the province of the Eastern Cape. It was in September 2022, so it's for Life Sciences Paper 1. So the question is based on the topic, human responding to the environment. As you can see on the screen, these are neurons so here is the questions that i will be working on in this video uh, if you want to maybe post the video and work on these questions then you can post the video here as the diagram and the questions are visible on the screen so even if this font is very small so if you can see here then you can continue watching the video as i will be answering the questions and they will be much better when I answer them. So, without wasting more time, let's get to it. So, first of all, I would like to analyze this diagram. So, before I answer the question, it's better to analyze the question and give names uh, the labels that are needed. So, we have two types of neurons. So, we have motor neurons and the sensory neurons. So the difference between motor neurons and the sensory neurons uh, is the cell body with sensory neurons, the cell body is on the side. But with motor neurons, the cell body, you find it is either at the end or at the beginning. So this is the difference between motor neuron and the sensory neuron. And then another difference is the dendrites. Sensory neuron has a long dendrites as you can see these dendrites are very long but motor neuron has a short dendrite and then another different is the axon the axon of a sensory neuron is short while the axon of a motor neuron is long axon is this tube that takes the impulse from the cell body to another neuron this tube here is axon and then here the axon is this one so these are the three different. So to name this, this one is a motor neuron. Diagram one is motor neuron. And then diagram two is sensory neuron. So we see sensory neuron. The easiest way of seeing sensory neuron is by the cell body. If the cell body is on the side, then this is the sensory neuron. Now we have to label this uh, number A. As you can see, it is showing the dendrites. So the dendrites is this part here that takes impulse to the cell body so number a it's a dendrites and then number b so this number b it's a male shed so this male is this is insulating the axon so the axon is this tube here this male is it insulating the axon and then another function of it it speed up transmission of impulse is another functions of the male shift. And then and number C, it's a cell body. So the cell body has a nucleus and then it is control the metabolism of the cell. So of the cell, yes. So this is the cell body. And then number D, it's an axon. Like I said, this is an axon. It takes the impulse away from the cell body to another neuron. So this is the information that I can take out from this diagram. And then another information I will tell during the questions. So now let's get to the questions. So like always, the questions will be here and then the solutions will be here so that uh, everything is visible, then we can understand. Let's go to the first question. Question number 1.5.1. Identify the neurons in uh, number A in diagram 1, so and then number B in diagram 2. So, diagram 1, like we say, it's a motor neuron, and the diagram 2, it's a sensory neuron. So, the answer 5.1, a uh, 1.5.1, and uh, number A, it's a motor neuron, the answer is motor neuron, and then number B, it's a sensory neuron. So, this uh the names that are needed in this question. So now let's go to the next question. The next question say, identify 
part C. And then the part C, like we say, it's a cell body. In the cell body, there is a nucleus. And then the functions, it is controls the metabolism of the cell. So part C, it's a cell body. And it's a cell body. So if you can see, it's a only a one mark. So just write cell body, then you get all the marks. Then now let's get to the next question. The next question say, give a letter and the name of the part that. So here we give a letter and then we give a name. So don't just give one of these, give both. So uh, the questions say, give the letter and the name of the part that provides electrical insulation. So for number A, the one that provides electrical insulation. And then number B, the one that receives incoming impulse. So the one that provides electrical insulation is the maillith shell. So this is the one that provides electrical insulation because it is insulating the axon. And then and again, it speeds up transmission of the impulse. So for question 1, 0.5.3 and number A, it's a maillith shift so the letter it's number b and then the name it's a mail it shift so and then now let's get to number b the one that receive incoming impulse so the one that receive incoming impulse is a dendrite so dendrite receive the incoming impulse and then it transmitted to the cell body like on the sensory neuron the dendrites are this one on the motor neuron the dendrite uh, this one so the answer for number b it's a so the part a and then the name of the part a it's a dendrite so these are the answers as you can see this is two marks so one mark is for the letter and then another mark is for the name and then now let's get to the last question the last question they say which neuron uh, in diagram one or diagram two transmit impulse to the to central nervous system. So we know that sensory neuron is the one that is sensing the, the stimulus that has taken place. So the sensory neuron will sense and then takes the information to the central nervous system. And then the central nervous system will respond and then send the information to via motor neuron. So motor neuron is connected to central nervous system and muscles or lens while sensory neuron is connected to the sensors is either a skin or eyes or ears or anything that it's a sensor and then it takes the information to the central nervous system is either to a spinal cord or to the brain and then the brain will respond after the brain has respond then that's the impulse will send via motor neuron so the neuron that transmit impulse to the central nervous system it's a sensory neuron. So the answer here is for the diagram 2. So 1.5.4, the answer is diagram 2 because sensory neuron, it descends and then take whatever the information to the brain and then the brain transmit, uh, interpret this information and then respond by sending the response via motor neuron. So these are all the questions for this particular question so if you didn't understand then you can ask via comment so i will answer everything so if you watch this video to this far i really appreciate that thank you very much please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so if you are studying good luck with your studies thank you very much god bless you